Whenever you think of a Rottweiler, there's a chance you're picturing an aggressive, fierce guard dog. But, that isn't always the case. Every Rottweiler bred in Germany must be friendly, calm, and good with children. Not exactly the vicious guard dog we imagine in America. Every Rottweiler owner knows that these can be some of the sweetest, nicest, and most loyal dogs out there. But, you may be interested to find out that there are different types of Rottweilers. Many have thought that there may be different breeds of Rottweilers. Others say that there are only different types of Rottweilers. Well, it can seem a little complicated to say the least. According to the American Kennel Club, there aren't any other Rottweiler dog breeds. There is only one. Even the different types fall into the category of that one specific breed. It is important to better examine the different types of Rottweilers that exist while contrasting and comparing their differences and similarities. We'll review the different types of Rottweilers and their characteristics to give you a better understanding of this ancient breed. 5 Different Types of Rottweilers Number 1. German Rottweilers German Rottweilers were always bred as working dogs. Many think that they are the descendants of the Mastiff-type dogs that were used in ancient Rome. However, when we talk about the modern history of this amazing dog breed, they were first bred in 1901 in the German city of Rottweil. So, when we talk about different types of Rottweilers, the German Rottweiler is the primary dog that comes to mind. In Germany, the Allgemeiner Deutscher Rottweiler Club, which is the Rottweiler Club of Germany, has very strict rules and guidelines when it comes to breeding Rottis. Only the best are allowed to breed, and these are those that adhere to the standard are healthy, obtain good hip scores, are equipped with good nerves and pass several breed qualification tests. Pretty impressive. It's no wonder these rots are so stunning and so often blessed with impressive temperament. Temperament of the German Rottweiler. German Rotties are loyal and committed to their pet parents. They're also highly intelligent, patient, and eager to please. They make wonderful work, service, police, and therapy dogs. When properly trained, they get along great with kids and other dogs, and they are very protective of their family. These are strong dogs that need consistent training, socialization, and daily exercise to help them know how to behave. Appearance of the German Rottweiler When it comes to the German Rottweiler's appearance, they have thick bones, broad bodies, with block-like heads. The dogs are bred according to the standard of the ancient Rottweilers. The dog's eyes are similar to the American Rottie, with dark, Almond-shaped eyes, the dogs sport broad, triangular ears that strongly resemble the American Rottie. However, the German Rottweiler's body is larger than American Rottweiler's. They have a muscular chest and well-formed ribs. The tail is usually left to grow naturally, as tail docking is not allowed for German Rotties. In addition, the dogs have a double coat, with the top coat medium length and rough, with a softer undercoat. Number 2. American Rottweiler. The Rottweiler's ancestor existed as far back as when the Roman Empire was still in power. The Roman legions used it as a herding dog. The contemporary Rottweiler was bred in Germany and got into German stud books starting in 1901. The name Rottweiler comes from a town in Germany known as Rottweil, where the breed originated. In the modern world, American Rottweilers are used as working dogs to haul carts, police dogs for the rail lines, or even as herding dogs. Their muscular build and willingness to work help them to do a wide range of jobs. The main difference between the American Rottweiler and others is that the breed standard for this variation is a lot laxer. This means that with more breeding variations, varying characteristics and appearances are present in this type. For example, German-bred Rottweilers tend to almost always be very gentle and are good with children, while at the same time being amazing watchdogs and guard dogs. However, with American Rottweilers, it is not uncommon for them to not be the best dog choice for children. It will depend upon the personality characteristics of the individual dogs and heredity factors. Temperament of the American Rottweiler The American Rottweiler is a dog that is loyal, protective, can be gentle, and sometimes a little aloof. This type tends to be very intelligent and calm, but it can be aggressive given it makes a good guard dog. They will particularly care about their owner and protect them no matter what, while being a little aloof with strangers and sometimes even weary. Despite this, the American Rottweiler also has a kind and gentle side, which can make it very good with children and allows it to get along well with others. It is important not to mistake the Rotties' protectiveness for aggression as they are not dogs that will actively seek a fight. 
They are often misunderstood for their protective behavior just like pit bulls, Dobermans, and even German Shepherds. Many have recognized the unique abilities of this breed, and they use them in search and rescue missions. Appearance of the American Rottweiler The American Rottweiler tends to be medium-sized making it smaller than other Rottweiler types. It also has a very muscular build. Their coloring is always black with clearly defined rust markings. Males are typically bigger than females, with larger frames and heavier bone structures. Females are smaller overall, but they're still muscular and strong. The American Rottweiler has a docked tail. The Rottweiler's fur is coarse and straight with a medium-length outer coat. The undercoat is only present on the neck and thighs. The Rottweiler sheds moderately throughout the year. Number 3. Roman Rottweilers Roman Rottweilers are dogs that seem like giants. Many call them gladiator Rottweilers or even colossal Rottweilers. Your first thought may be that these Rottweilers originated in Rome as the original breed that helped the Roman legions. However, this is simply not the case. While the Roman Rottweiler bears the same name and forefathers, the original Roman Rottweilers have been extinct for quite some time. We do know that they used to be Mastiff-type dogs. This is why many breeders actually breed Roman Rottweilers as crossbreeds between a Rottweiler and some Mastiff, leading to these giant versions of Rottweilers. Breeders intentionally breed larger and heavier dogs than the breed standard calls for. This is harmful to the dog because it makes them much more susceptible to orthopedic problems, including hip dysplasia. They also are prone to snoring and overheating due to their large size. This type of Rottweiler is not recognized by either the American Kennel Club or the Algeminer Deutscher Rottweiler Club. This is because they are typically much larger than either breed standard. Temperament of the Roman Rottweiler The Roman Rotti is a very affectionate, loving dog that's very protective. They will do what's necessary to keep their families safe. The dogs have a deep instinct to guard and protect that goes back to the breed's ancient roots. The dogs are highly intelligent and brave. They're willing to learn and usually pretty easy to train. They're eager to please, attentive, and usually submissive when being trained. Like other types, they best serve as guard dogs. Appearance of the Roman Rottweiler Roman Rotties are usually black and tan or black and mahogany. They're strong and muscular. They have a strong, broad head, including the upper and lower jaws. Their eyes are also rounded and usually have a deep brown color. Both jaws have large scissor bite teeth like the German and American Rottis. The Roman Rottweiler has broad triangular ears. These dogs also have strong, curved necks. Number 4. Tailed Rottweilers For many years, tail docking was a pretty common practice for specific breeds like the Rottweiler. But now you can see most of the Rottweilers with tails because, since 1999, the Germans banned the practice of docking tails. Rottweilers with tails have made a comeback and the Algeminer Deutscher Rottweiler Club recognizes them. Unfortunately, the American Kennel Club does not register tailed Rottis. Their standard call for dock tails. Number 5. Rare Rottweilers It is essential to know that there are rare Rottweilers that you can get from breeders. You may find red, blue, or even albino Rottweilers occasionally selling as high excellent breeds. This type is not considered a Rottweiler by the standard in both Germany and America as they are said to be mixed breeds. Despite them not being members of these two dog clubs, they are enticing to many people are sold as fast when advertised. 